Hi, and welcome to Best in Tesla. There have been a lot of talk about batteries and battery day. And that is because this is going to be a very important day in the history of electric cars. But not only because of the new technology in the batteries, but just as important how we will make all these batteries the world is going to need. Because the car industry will need about 9 terawatt hours of batteries for all the cars in the world to go electric. And that is just the cars. Then we have all the power walls and maker packs, which is getting very popular because we have seen so many examples of what a good business case these battery plants has been. This will also drive the demand for battery up like crazy, and all this production will drive the battery price down just as crazy. So let's take a look at just how much production is needed and why I do think my prediction of $20 per kilowatt hour per battery is not that crazy. Let's dive right in. So we are going to need even more batteries than the 9 terawatt hours of battery production that is needed for all the cars to become electric. So the car industry has to help with this themselves. They need to get their butt off the seat and get started with making some batteries. And I hope they will look at Tesla battery day and see what kind of plan Tesla has to do this and then copy them and make a lot of batteries to make sure they don't run out of batteries and have to stop production for a while, just like Audi did with their e-tron and Jaguar had to do with the iPace. Because demand is going to be out of this world for batteries the next 10 years. And Tesla can't do this all by themselves. They need the whole industry to come along for the ride and make some batteries because Tesla will have more than enough to do with making batteries for their own electric cars. Because Tesla, of course, can't just turn on a switch and have one terawatt hour battery production. It is going to take years to get to this number, and Elon Musk mentioned that Tesla probably has to get into mining just a little bit, because Tesla knows how many batteries they need to get to 10 million cars per year that Tesla is aiming for, and they know how much material they need to make all these batteries. And again, to be in control of their own destiny, they know they need to make sure they are in control of getting all the materials they need and not be dependent on other companies to supply the materials, because then it can go very wrong. The Jaguar I-Pace temporary stop of production was just a little warning, a little taste of what can happen. And Jaguar only made less than 20,000 I-Paces last year, and they were already in trouble with battery demand. Mercedes was only able to make 7,000 of their EQCs, and they wanted to make 25,000. So if they are already in trouble with these numbers, imagine the really big boys who are making 5 to 10 million vehicles per year, what kind of trouble they will be in when they need to scale up production to millions of electric vehicles. They need to start making batteries yesterday. Because Tesla is already expanding the Gigafactory 3 in Shanghai to make battery at the factory to supply the factory's production goal of 500,000 Teslas a year in a couple of years. So that car factory is going to self-supply with batteries. And so will the Gigafactory 4 in Berlin and the Gigafactory Texas for Cybertruck and so on. I don't think Tesla will produce any factories without a battery production line for all the car that factory will be making. And they will probably make even more factory just for making batteries for their power walls and power packs. Because the one terawatt hour Tesla need is just for their cars if they want to make 10 million cars. 
but they also have the power walls, which only has 13.5 kilowatt hour capacity, so about five and a half times less than a Tesla Model 3. But these are also very popular with customers of the Tesla solar panels or Tesla solar glass roof tiles. And Tesla expects to produce and install 10,000 Tesla glass roof per week. Yes, per week. And that is just solar glass roof. And more and more people will be getting the power wall with the solar roof since the price of battery will go down. So if just half will buy the power wall in the future, we're looking at 250,000 power walls per year just for the people who buy the solar glass roof. That is almost 3.5 gigawatt hour of battery just for the power wall and just for the people who buy the solar glass roof. But then there are the battery power plants that use the Tesla power pack and the Hornsdale power plant in South Australia and many more after they have shown what a good business case these power plants are, the Hauntel power plant will only need between four to five years to pay back the whole power plant. But a power plant like the Hornstel has a capacity of 129 megawatt hours of storage. So to make just one power plant, and they are actually making this 50% larger, but to make this 129 megawatt hour of storage, they need about 48 mega packs, which has 3000 kilowatt hour capacity or 3 megawatt hour capacity. So just one of these 48 mega packs use as many batteries as 40 Model 3s. And we see these mega packs and power packs are being set up all over the world in schools, factories, on islands, and so on. The demand for batteries for these power plants is going to be insane. But Tesla also showed us the vehicle to grid system for the future of Teslas. So maybe this will make the power wall less attractive, but then more people will maybe want to buy the Tesla instead. So maybe the demand for the power wall could go down, but that would maybe be because of the demand for Tesla is going up. So that will not help with the demand problem for batteries. But in five to 10 years, we will see a huge amount of battery materials that will come from used EVs and other battery systems that are getting old. So that will help a lot with the demand for the materials we need to make all these batteries. And this will also help with the price of the batteries. And I did say in my video about the battery day that I do think the price for batteries could come down as low as $20 per kilowatt hour. And I know some of you thought that was very optimistic. And yes, I am a very optimistic person, but it was actually not some numbers I just pulled out of a hat. If we look at the price over the last 10 years, where we have gone from $1,160 per kilowatt hour in 2010 and in 2019 we were at $156 per kilowatt hour and I do believe we are just waiting for battery day for Tesla to announce the $100 per kilowatt hour battery here in 2020 because all the news we have heard about the CATL's new cobalt free battery that battery should already be at that price so if we look at the average percent in price drop over the last 10 years it is just a bit over 20% in average per year. And if we take the next 10 years and try to be really conservative and not make a price drop that is more than 18%, we will end up with a price per kilowatt hour of $17 in 2030. And that is if the price will not drop faster in the next 10 years than it has done in the last 10 years. And if we look at the production of batteries and the amount that all the battery producers have planned, because there are over 115 battery plants in the pipeline for the next 10 years. And that is because the demand is going to skyrocket as we can see here in these charts. So they haven't even started ramping up production compared to the next 10 years. The batteries needed for the electric cars alone in the next 10 years is expected to get over 40 times higher than it is today. So the price examples 
I just gave you with the $17 per kilowatt hour is, in my opinion, very conservative. It could easily go as low as $10 per kilowatt hour. But with the price of about $17 per kilowatt hour, that would make the Model 3's battery pack about $10,000 cheaper. This is going to drive the price of an electric car way down and become even cheaper than the ICE car. And that is why I made the whole video about who killed the ICE car, because I do believe this will kill the ICE car. Anyway, the amount of batteries the world is going to need for all these electric cars Power walls, power packs, power plant is mind boggling. The race is on to become the biggest provider of batteries and to get to this huge amount of battery production the fastest. And I think Tesla will get there the fastest. They are already one of the world's biggest providers of lithium ion battery and they have done this in just 10 years. So just wait for the next 10 years, they will be even more mind boggling. And Tesla actually has a plan to get to one terawatt hour battery production. And the rest of the car industry only has a plan for 30 gigawatt hour production. And some don't even have a plan. So I do think this is one of the most exciting things about batteries day is to hear Tesla's plan for how to get to this one terawatt hour of battery production and how soon they think they can get there because the world needs to know this and the rest of the world needs to follow if this new energy storage in battery is going to work and help everyone. But what do you think? What is the lowest price of battery production in your opinion and how are we going to get all these batteries and when? Let me know in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing to this channel. I come out with videos like this all the time and have a weekly news episode every Sunday about Tesla, Elon Musk and everything in between. If you want to support the show even more, you can become a patron of this show. All you need to do is head over to patreon.com slash bestintesla and choose your level of support and it can be as little as $1. But it all helps out a lot. And as always, a big shout out to all my Patreon. Thank you so much for your support. It means the world to me. And thank you for watching. And until next time, take care out there and be nice.